Hi guys, it's been a bit. I haven't really done any reborning or anything. You know, summertime, I've been doing other things, getting out, doing stuff. I don't know what I just did with that viper. Huh. Well, anyway, I have Reborn Skya here. Cute, adorable little baby. I painted this baby a little darker. Baby has glossed lips. Um, I painted the baby with Genesis heat set paint, but I did the hair with air dry paints. Um, tipped nails. This baby I was gonna list for 400, but I am gonna list this baby for 300 because of some of the paint pulled up. I guess my paint was older than I thought it was. I haven't reborn in a while, so it was drier. I need to get some more oil. And some of it ran right here. Can you see that? But that's on the bottom of the armpit. It's hardly noticeable. I notice it, so it bothers me, so I'll be reducing the price of this baby. Um, and selling as kind of a boo-boo, not really a boo-boo. I don't think it's a boo-boo. Everyone has imperfections, huh, baby? And now, as you guys know me, I always see a boy. So I'm going to dress this baby as a boy. I might take pictures of the baby as a girl for others. But little boys always popping in my head when I see the little babies. I think it might be the hair. Maybe it's the short hair. I don't know. Lavender? I have a lavender baby. This baby looks like a girl to me. I'm not sure what the difference is, but she looks like a little girl. You're cute. This one won't ever be for sale. This one was my mother-in-law's baby that she bought for me a few years ago and uh, she recently passed. So I got the babies back. Um, she has one of my very first babies that I'm kind of embarrassed to show you. It was reborn Nicholas. Um, I mean, he's kind of cute in his own little way, but um, I asked for an Auburn, like an Auburn brown hair. I was expecting something different. And when I finished his hair, it um, turned more reddish and his eyeballs kind of like he's got bulgy eyes so i think that he <laughs> kind of looks like chucky my sister-in-law would call him chucky too sometimes i'll show you i spiked his hair too oh yeah and i was using really thick um needles too when i first started rooting this was like three years ago guys I think he was my third baby that I made. He doesn't he he doesn't have his own. <laughs> She's kinda cute in his own little way. I added freckles to him after my mother in law gave him back to me. She had him for three years. And I had to like kind of get some hair. It's everywhere. But and okay, so look at how he moves. Look at how real he looks. I'm looking in the camera right now as I'm like turning him. And he looks so real. This baby is so cute. I have another one to paint too. So we're gonna be getting some oils so my paint isn't so dried out. I don't have any socks for him, but it's hot. He probably doesn't even need these sweatpants, but. We'll be doing a photo shoot. I might dress this baby as a girl just for the photo shoot. Post it on Etsy, but. Um, before I do that, if anybody's interested, I have a few babies in my shop. I have a partial silicone in my shop. I opened um, a baby from Mini by Manook on this channel. Uh, about a month ago, two months ago, and I rooted the baby's head. Look at it. 
Oh my god. I like wa I'm watching him in the camera and the movements are just really cool. I used uh, Bountiful Baby's really fluffy. He can take a modified pacifier, which I modified this one. I'm just gonna put it in there just right. You know, it kind of stays. <laughs> Baby shaking syndrome. But I also did a magnetic one. But it's hard because the magnet on the inside of the mouth is like dented. So I like the modified one better because it sticks out like a lot. So I'll probably just send that with them because it, it stays in just fine. My dog is trying to like dig into the blanket. They're not usually allowed. I know I say this every time. They're not allowed around the babies I'm gonna sell. But um, he's a big chihuahua and he like whines and whines and whines and I wouldn't get any peace trying to do this video. <laughs> this pacifier is going to be too big. You got big pacifier. But yeah, you just cut the pacifier like into a V shape and leave the two things and it sticks right in his mouth. But okay, I'm going to put this baby over here and bring you back, bring my baby up. This is a Lulu. Everybody knows the Lulu cat, huh? I'm gonna get his pajamas on. And that's it. We're just putting his pajamas on. Um, I painted Lulu's hair with uh, air dry paints as well. I just restuffed this baby so it's a little stiff. So I got these outfits at um, a place called Everything Kids here where we live in Maine. Um, this baby's head is still warm, so the neck thing's like loose. I just, just uh, redid some hair here and added some more. And I really love this sculpt, and I have a chance to buy one from Portuguese, Portugal, but I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if it's a scam lady or not. I, I don't know if she has any references. I really want the baby because she does a really good job if, they, if it is her work, but I don't know. All right, I did not put a magnet in his face because he's mine, and uh, I love those lips, <laughs> so that's that's that. Look at this baby. He's a look at the door. He also has a custom body on. Okay, well, that's it, guys. Bye.